guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is 803 Garage. We have a 9.8 Mercury motor. We're going to change the gear oil. But typically speaking, you have an upper screw and then we have bottom screw right there. So that'll drain out the fluid. That'll also help bring the air through the bottom end. Once that fluid's drained, we'll keep this one out. We put the fluid up through here until the gear oil comes through. Now, speaking of gear oil, this is your typical marine grade and it's 85 weight 90 and the 85w stands for winter as in the cold weight so when this motor first starts up first gets going it's at 85 viscosity when it's all warmed up to operating temperatures it goes to 90 viscosity so not a lot of change some of these uh, differential fluids and this is what it is uh, they're 120 to uh, 90 or uh, 65 to 90 things of that nature based on what the fluid actually is in its cold state. So let's get these screws undone, the fluid drained out. This is what the screw looks like. There's mosquitoes out here. If you look right here, there's a bit of silicone. I typically like to add a bit of silicone around the screw and it keeps things sealed and the water out. So this here is last year's fluid and as you can see she's dark. There's no gray which means no water got to it and like there is water in this bucket. That's just because when I was pulling the motor out I got some water into it. But you can see that the fluid is not gray and if it was you'd know that it was thrashing with water around and it mixed in. And even just the way the fluid looks with its viscosity, it's perfectly fine. So we're going to want to just clear this up, take off all that old silicone. This is a lot easier than uh, the bigger motors. Basically, it's like a gear differential for your car. There we go. As you can see, nice and clean. That'll be the first bolt, or screw, we we'll put back in. And the same goes for this guy. Again, mosquito. So this guy's all nice and clean. Get that little bit of silicone at the end. Again, same deal. This moment we there we go. 
go. So a nice thick coat. And then when you push it in, it will seat. Oops, I almost forgot a step. You have to put the gear oil in. That would have been great. I'm all excited. That's what it is. That's really funny, actually. So we'll get rid of any silicone that's in there. And momentarily, it'll pop out from the top here. Once that's full. Oh, maybe my, maybe my, there it is. Okay, so that's good. So I'm holding it with my finger right now. Typically, I put the bottom one in first. But I want to create a bit of a vacuum and hold the grease in, sorry, gear oil in. Now it's not going to come out, like it's not going to just drop out, but I want to create a seal so it doesn't just drain. So the next part of this will be to insert, there we go. Now take your time with this, it's not a big deal. We will be tightening this up with about hand pressure. So once this is all the way in, right about there. Yep, that's good. The bottom, again, hand pressure. So that's good, about 10 pounds. Hey. You do not touch that. Wipe off your oil. And you are done. And that's it, guys. Your gear oil is now changed. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.